Today, I'm going to give you my honest, unbiased review about Cloudways hosting. Hello and welcome back to the Monkey Show. I'm Alex. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe wherever you are. Now, like I said in the intro, today I'm going to give you my honest review about Cloudways hosting and help you decide whether or not you may or may not want to host with them. Now, I feel I'm in a very good position to do so because as you can see right now, this is my back end and I'm currently hosting six different websites with them. And I started hosting with them back uh, on 28th of April 2020. So it's been almost one full year. And of course, during this time, there have been positives, but there have also been some negatives as well. So in this video, I'm going to talk about all the negatives as well as all the positives. But before I do that, let me first of all give you a brief history as to why I joined Cloudways. So I used to be with SiteGround and I'm still with SiteGround. I host several of my websites with SiteGround. But I needed, for certain websites, I needed an upgrade in hosting from shared hosting over to cloud hosting, which is of course superior. Now, even though SiteGround offers cloud hosting as well, unfortunately, it was a bit too expensive for me and I needed a cheaper alternative. So I found out about Cloudways, took a gamble with them, and I can tell you right now that after one full year of hosting with them, I can tell you right now that uh, it's been worth it. I'm really, really happy with the support provided by Cloudways and uh, even though it's been mostly positive, there are still some negatives as well. So let's start off by talking about the negatives, what I don't like about Cloudways. All right, so the first main issue that I had with Cloudways while moving over from SiteGround is the fact that I was unable to transfer the email servers from SiteGround over to Cloudways. So at the moment, even though I have these websites on Cloudways, the email accounts associated with them are still being hosted on SiteGround. It works, there is no problem at all. It's just that we tried for several days to move over the email accounts, but it never happened. And the funny thing here is that uh, SiteGround blamed Cloudways, but guess what? Cloudways also blamed SiteGround. And, I, and me personally, I don't know who really was at fault, but I do need to tell you that I had problems moving my email servers from SiteGround over to Cloudways. Now, a second issue that I had with Cloudways is the fact that the Vanish feature kept breaking my websites. Now, if you know what Vanish is, it's another caching feature. It's meant to make your websites load much faster. And I tried to activate it with my you know, Cloudways account, but unfortunately, it kept breaking my websites and eventually I had to disable it. Now, I'm not saying that you will have the exact same issue. I don't know, maybe the issue was with my websites or the way I built them, I don't know. But I can tell you right now that I was unable to activate the Vanish cache feature, but it's not the end of the world because Cloudways does offer other caching features as well. So even though it would have been better, it would have been nice to have the Vanish uh, cache feature enabled. It's not, it's not working for my websites and um, you should be aware of that as well. The third issue that I have with Cloudways, it's not exactly an issue, more of an observation. And that is regarding their support. Now, don't get me wrong, the support is actually very, very good, better than most web hosting companies out there. In fact, on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give them a 9. I cannot give them a 10 because there have been two or three instances in the past where I had a question or I had an issue and the support staff who was attending to me at the time was unable to assist me. So what they said on all these occasions was that, okay, you know, my supervisor will come in in the next 30 minutes. I will ask him for help and I'll get back to you via email. So I would say, okay, no problem. The problem though is that they never go back to me. So the next day I had to reach out to support again saying, hey, you know, yesterday I had this issue. You know, you said you'll get back to me and stuff like that. So it's happened two or three times with different support staff. So that's why I cannot give them a 10 out of 10. The support for the most part is very, very good. It's just that they can improve just slightly. So those are the three main issues that I have with Cloudways. However, there are some other things you should be aware of. And that is, first of all, you cannot buy domain names with Cloudways. So if you're gonna host with Cloudways, you'll have to buy your domain name from another company, and then you'll have to do some uh, DNS editing in order to connect your domain name from that uh, company that you, bought them, that you bought it from with your account on Cloudways. The thing is, Cloudways has several articles that are actually very, very good. I'll walk you through the entire process. And of course, if you need help, their support will assist you, but you should just be aware that you cannot buy 
uh, domain names with Cloudways. I should also mention that the back end of Cloudways isn't exactly the most user friendly. Now, for me, it's not a problem at all because this is my job. I've been working with hosting companies for many, many, many years right now. So it's very easy for me to navigate my way around. However, if you're somebody who is brand new to the world of web development, it's your first website and so on, you may find navigating the back end a bit more challenging. There are other web hosting companies out there that, that have more uh, user-friendly interfaces. Let me put it that way. I should also mention that the back end of Cloudways can be a bit slow and clunky sometimes. Like for example, if you were to click on say SSL certificate, it may take one or two seconds extra for the page to load. Now I know it's not that big of a deal. It's just that today, you know, we're so used to pages loading instantly. So you should be aware that sometimes the load speeds of the pages and the backend for Cloudways can be a bit slow and can also be a bit clunky. But like I said, it's not that big of a deal, but, but you should be aware of that. Okay, so with all the negatives out of the way, let's talk about the positives and perhaps the best positive I can say about Cloudways is the fact that ever since I joined them almost a year ago, the up time of my websites has been 100%. There has never been a single moment or a single second where I tried to access any of my websites and I got the message saying the server is down. It has never happened before and for that, I need to give Cloudways two thumbs up because that's, a, that's the most important feature uh, any hosting company should provide their customers. The websites should be up and running at all times and with Cloudways, that's what I've been getting so far. A second major bonus about Cloudways is the fact that you pretty much have access to all the tools that you need for security and speed. This is the back end right here. I have access to monitoring features. I have bot protection, domain management, SSL certificates, backups, migration tools, Cloudways CDN. There is not a single feature that you will need either for speed or security that you will not get with Cloudways. They pretty much offer you everything that you need. Let me also mention that, yes, I gave them a slight knock earlier. I'm talking about the support. Don't let that cloud your judgment. What I meant was that the support on Cloudways is still very, very good. Nine times out of 10, you will still get excellent support from Cloudways. I feel I need to stress that because, you know, when somebody says, oh, it's not perfect, the support can be improved, then people start thinking, oh, the support is actually quite bad. No, the support is very, very good. It can be improved just slightly, but for the most part, I can assure you, you will be happy hosting with Cloudways. I should also mention that Cloudways are probably one of the most affordable cloud hosting companies in the world right now. So if you need cloud hosting, there are not many companies out there that will offer you more affordable options than Cloudways. So that's another bonus that you should be aware of uh, when it comes to Cloudways hosting. So the ultimate question right now is, should you host or should you not host with Cloudways? Well, it all depends on whether or not you need cloud hosting. If this is your first website or your website isn't getting that much traffic to begin with, then you don't need cloud hosting. Stick with shared hosting because that's what you need for now. But of course, if you're getting plenty of traffic or you have a lot more content, the site is taking a bit longer to load, then you may need an upgrade to cloud hosting. And if that's the case, then I can 100% recommend Cloudless to you. And I should also mention that I'm now an affiliate for Cloudless because I have a lot of confidence in them. And uh, what an affiliate means is that if anybody buys cloud hosting from Cloudless with my own link, I will get a small commission. So. If you would like to join Cloudways Hosting, I've actually partnered with them to offer you a very special deal where you get 20% off for the first three months. You'll find all the details in the description box below. So if you'd like to join Cloudways Hosting today or tomorrow, please do use my link and support me and what I'm doing here on this channel. So hopefully I've been able to guide you and answer your question as to whether or not you should join Cloudways Hosting. If you have any more questions, put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone who you feel might benefit from it as well. And of course, until next time, stay safe out there and uh, all the best. Ciao.